G'day everyone, I'm back with a new idea and that is with this uh, little BL Touch probe. They're basically the same as the uh, Creality probe. Uh, they're very cheap, get them off of eBay or AliExpress or you know Amazon for probably like 10 to 20 dollars. And I just whipped up this little bracket to fit the Creality the sprite bracket um, <clears throat> yeah so that we can probe the whole bed and 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 at the location where the nozzle is rather than offset over here which I think is where I like my problems so my problems been coming from because I've got a warped bed like it's like this sort of thing and um, I think what happens is you end up with the frame and everything, this reading a different reading to what's actually at the nozzle. Uh, one way around that is I did print up to get this little model off of printables, which uh, goes on here and moves the probe location around the back so that it's in line with the nozzle on the Y, which is the main. So that that's not not a bad idea, but um, yeah, I wanted to take that even further. So you could do this with the probe that's on the side here and uh, I, I just, these are cheap and I wanted to experiment with this. Originally I was thinking I would plug this onto this onto this rain ribbon cord. I'd find out what the pin out, because the, the cables from the probe just go straight to here through the PCB on the back of this. There's no circuitry or anything. And I was going to do that. That way I'm not touching or mucking around with the, the extruder or, or the extruder plugs at all to risk anything going wrong there. But the problem I found is that this plug in the back here is not really like that common. It's a two millimeter pitch, like your standard header pins are 2.54 millimeters. So it's, yeah, two millimeter spacing between the pins and it's like 12 by 12. And I, the only way I could get a plug, I, I, I ordered one, but I worked out a better way to do it for now was to get like a pack of 10 from AliExpress for like five bucks or something. So, but that's still problematic because you're gonna have all the pins, all the other pins being exposed. And I guess there's a problem, you have to make sure they're all insulated and there's risk of maybe hooking up the wrong pins or, um, you know, like them shorting on something. So this was just a way, what to do was to use uh, the cords that come with the little probe so you get a lot a really long one and a really short one and what I worked out I can do is actually just join them together color to color okay and then you've got yourself a really long cord so I can unplug the cord for the probe off the back of the PCB and plug this in and have the probe of uh, the whole extruder off out of the way and still be probing the bed which you'll see in a minute the thing you've got to watch out for is that the type of, um, it's a JST, you could buy a cord like this if you're going to use this. You could just buy one to make, use this probe, a long one. Uh, it's a JSTXH uh, 1.2 or something. Um, <clears throat> but you got The thing you've got to watch out for is that it's uh, opposite um, colour. Uh, so it's actually it would go like that if you put them side by side on the same side you can see the colors are actually opposite so that's so what you have to do is either uh, in here you could reverse them but the problem with that is that when if someone just gets this cord and looks at the the plugs on the end they don't realize it's a reversed it's a reversed cable so what I decided to do was actually just to use a small knife a little hobby knife and like pry the little pins out like you know you lift up these little tabs you pull them out and then I reverse the plug around so that uh, yeah so that they're opposites um, on one end to the other that's just the way they've got this and I'll show you uh, that cord in a minute when I have to get it off so uh, firstly I'll just the, the probes basically perform the same it, this is the um, pro Firmware by um, Maurice Cock. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> and um, 
in in this probe firmware you can actually go in and do a probe variance test which um, does a bunch like 10 or 12 probes in a row and tells you what the differences are so it's it's in the probe settings right down the bottom it's called m48 probe test so if I do that now it's going to home first and you'll see it counting up down the bottom as it completes um, I've also got my probe number the number of times it does for each probing just once because it's it's I'm not right look you know trying to get trying to I'm in more of a rush than anything so you know I think standard it's like two or three um, so this is just one so it'll do like one actual probe and that sort of does like another sort of confirmation pro probe and that's normal okay so now this is done it will say down the bottom of the screen what the difference is so this is saying 0.03 five three six of a mil so it's very small um before and i've done it it's more like it, i've more commonly got like 0 0.002 um so it, it's it's accurate you know they, these things are very accurate um, more accurate than we need and they don't have much variation which is good what you you have to do once we swap this over is um change the the probe location the probe offset location which is also in probe settings and um, and it, what's good is that you can actually change that probe offset location without resetting your uh, your mesh and having to regenerate. So you can uh, leave the probe position as zero zero, which is where the nozzle is, the offset map, and and still just home because once you've done your mesh with with, with this other bracket. You're only really using this probe now for just getting that initial Z level home. And it doesn't really matter whether it's in the center or it's off to the side. All that will change is you might just need to tweak your, your Z offset when you start printing if there's, if there's much of a difference between those two spots. So just for like convenience, I think I'm just going to leave my probe offset at zero even you know after I've taken off and put this one back on when I'm homing. So all right, let's let's get to it and take this thing apart. All right, so I've already taken a couple of these screws out already because I've been doing this a bit. Okay, so we got it off. Now, what we need to do for the way that I'm doing it, as I said, is to uh, take out carefully take out the probe plug like so there is the colored one and actually what i'll do just for now is i'll take off both sides you normally wouldn't have just to show you what i'm talking about if you put the plugs like to like you can see there the colors are actually different the opposite so if you put them sort of like end to end they line up okay so now we take a really long cable and Bring it over the top of the frame where the light is. I found this good uh, just to keep, hang this cord up out of the way and then plug it onto the back of here. Now you could do this with it off, but uh, I know, I'll just be careful. There we go. And then we're going to put this extruder just out of the way over here. Okay, now. We'll put this thing on. Like so. There we go. So that's quite rigid. Now we can even home like this. Homing will work. So if I go to back, back, it's like home. What's interesting I noticed is that also you can actually get these replacement tips in packs of like five or ten because I guess being just light plastic compared to the um, the Crowley's metal one I imagine you could probably ram this into the bed accidentally and um, you'd need a new tip first go to probe settings sorry and change the default there we go so the default uh, yeah, X and Y is minus 31.8 and minus 40.5 
So we're going to put them both to zero. And what this is going to let us do is actually probe the entire bed, which you just can't do. And it means that the software is just simulating what it thinks is on those areas that you can't probe. And depending on how your bed is actually shaped, that might or might not be accurate. So there we go, zero, zero. Okay, now we'll go, actually we'll just save that first. Back out, store settings. And there we go. Now if I go down to M48 probe test, it'll home, looks like it's gonna home again. And you can see it's actually uh, probing right in the center where the nozzle would be now. All right, and the deviation is 0 0.0019, so that's actually the lowest I've seen it. These probes could actually be largely better than the Creality ones, uh, but you know, probably not much in it. So now, whoops, so now we can just build our mesh pretty simply. So we go into mesh leveling and we go, I do nine by nine, and then we want to do mesh inset and maximize area. Now the interesting thing is you can go back up and actually edit, still move these further. Like you can go to a minimum of five or a maximum of 220, but I found that actually doesn't use that. It still will only probe the area that um, it says is the maximum when you click maximize area in this menu. So we go, I will just save that first. Okay, and then we're going to start our mesh building. And you can see that it's going to go right from here all the way to here. Whereas before, you know, there's like an area like this wide that I just couldn't, uh, you couldn't probe. There we go, and there's my mesh. Hard to see, but uh, yeah, hard part in the middle, just all here. So now that that's done, basically put the uh, original extruder and probe back on and uh, print away. All right, there we go, original extruder back on. And I'll show you, I'm going to leave my uh, probe point at zero, 00, but you could change it back to what the factory one is um, and still keep the original mesh, uh, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. It just means that when it does a home, uh, it'll be uh, slightly off. You can see it's going to home over here rather than the center of the bed, but hey, that doesn't matter really as far as I'm concerned at the moment. Now let's try to go and get a test print going. All right, here we go. Finished doing the test print. This is pretty good. This is probably the best I've ever done. Now, obviously, you can see this bit through the middle here. I was just trying to see how fast I could go, and um, once I slowed back down, you can see it, it's gone back good. Some of the light spots are just where it didn't quite a deer. I was actually running the hotbed at a lower temperature than I normally would, and the hot end at a lower temperature if I was really building. Just because I'm doing so much plastic. Um, I just didn't want to get too hot and uh, yeah but, you know you can see the uniformity across it was printing this way as you can see the uniformity is really good um, for each line which is really the main thing and there's no gaps even uh, really and uh, pretty, pretty yeah just pretty good evenness so um, I'm pretty happy with that and uh, don't think I'm going to be able to get much better without actually actually packing up this plate with some foil or something in the low spots just to make the um, the leveling process easier for the algorithm.